Whoa. Hi guys and welcome to my simple and quick review about Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Daisy Jones is a drug addict and a singer and an aspiring artist and things come easy to her. And then the Six is a band who is controlled by this main guy, Billy, and the whole entire book is done interview style so it's done like 30 years I think in the future um, and they're all looking back on the past of what made this record super successful. And even in the back, there's a little bit of intrigue to say there's a little bit of romance between Billy and Daisy. But for me, I never really believed it. Um, I fully believed Billy's romance with his wife. And I liked his wife. And I didn't like the whole romance that went on in the book. And it's kind of a bigger part of the book um, was their romance between Daisy and Billy. And I didn't really like it. So <laughs> that was one problem connecting with the characters. I didn't connect with the characters as well because they were somewhat white one-sided characters even though she's a drug addict and an aspiring artist she was her she was flatlined to me and Billy was also Billy was a really boring person Daisy and Camilla his wife were far more interesting characters than Billy a lot of the side characters were boring and annoying and repetitive to me um and the, they didn't have multifaceted sides they were all different interesting characters themselves but they were kind of flatlined, like they were one-sided kind of people. <laughs> and so I'm glad that Daisy and Camilla were the stars of this story. Um, but at the same time, Billy, you hear so much from Billy. I wish he was a more multifaceted character, I guess. And I mean, he was, I mean, outside of his music and being able to do music, he was like, these two women were, I mean, too good for him. I don't know how to say that. It's just, he wasn't anything great outside of it. <laughs> um, I didn't also like that the two females in the story were propped up by him. Like, they're the reason that they were successful. Um, because I felt like they could each stand on their own. They seemed like two independently strong people, but it seemed like the entire story, Billy was propping both of them up. And so I don't know if I really liked that in this story as well. So I just had a lot of problems connecting with the story. I thought it was a solid read. I thought she did a really good job. If you're into reading about rock stars as like a fictional piece, not like a nonfiction piece, I think I would enjoy it much more if it was a nonfiction piece, um, if it was a real human. But for me, I just couldn't connect with the book in the end. And I thought, I mean, the characters were wonderful in characterization and that they were like all different and distinctive and I can remember them. But I just, I couldn't connect with them. And I thought too many of them were flatlined or boring or could have been cut from the story. <laughs> so uh, that's where I landed with it. And I think I gave it three stars um, because she is a salt writer. I love, love her other writings. And it was a solid read. I'd recommend it. If you liked Evelyn Hugo, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I think you will also really like this. Or if you like fictional pieces about rock stars, I think you'll really like it as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys next time. Bye.